Piers Doherty, um, you've been critical of the indirect taxes that have been introduced, but the Minister says it's better for jobs, indirect taxes, cut employment less. It simply isn't the case. The reality is the Minister told us that they had to increase uh, income and taxes by about a billion euro. The four major taxes, the carbon tax, the household charge, the VAT and uh, the car tax, uh, motor tax, takes in 985 million euro. That has no ability to pay clause. It affects people on lower incomes more disproportionately than people on higher incomes and it's pulling money out of the economy. It's going to, help, it's going to kill the domestic economy and it's going to result in job losses and it's the wrong approach that this government has taken. Mr. Ardy, um, You've been critical of, of the budget, but I presume there's elements in it you welcome increases well, uh, tax on wealth, for instance. Well, there's very little tax on wealth, and that's the point I'm making. Of the billion euro, 985 is coming from the stealth taxes that I mentioned. But there are certain things that I do welcome. For example, the universal social charge. The people that are earning 193 euro are now out of the net. We would abolish the universal social charge, and I'm disappointed that people still pay, uh, earning the minimum wage are actually uh, paying this charge. Like in the round, this this budget is a bad budget for the economy, it's very, very bad for families. And when you put what happened today on top of what happened yesterday, people out there who are finding it very difficult just to, to, to stay afloat are completely and utterly numbed, disappointed and feel let down and betrayed by this government.